Plaintiff Collins Chisanga claims he told the defendant about mold issues in her building multiple times, but she never took action and it spread to his belongings and even irritated his skin. He's suing for $5,000. Defendant Talita Odissi claims the plaintiff is making a mountain out of a mold hill because her building is fungi free and she's not paying for his problems. So you stayed in a building she owned? Yes, sir. And you're suing her because? I'm, I'm suing for more damages and uh, for property damages and the uh, effects it, it, it caused my face. There was damage that did what to your face? It made me start peeling out, like pussing out. Well, your face okay now? Yeah, yes yeah, sir, it's now getting better. I'm sorry, Your Honor, but um, there was never any peeling problems with his face all this time. It was something that at the very end when he left my property that he claimed had happened. Right now your face looks okay. Yes, sir. You're not that good looking, but your face looks okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Yes, sir, so I was looking for an apartment in the fine Italia. You know, we ended up meeting up. We checked it out. Uh, so when, I, when we walked in, I saw a hole, a hole in the wall. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I, as soon as I noticed that, I already knew like that. Like, Did you tell her about the hole in the wall? Yes, yeah, sir. So we talked about it. She said like she would fix it before I was able to move in. Okay. Yeah. So like uh, I seen the rest of the house. I also went to the bathroom and I seen like a green line, and like a like it was wiped off. Like mold was growing, but you could tell it was wiped off. Oh my gosh. You yeah. saw a green line in the bathroom. Um, Yes, Your Honor. Okay, maybe someone just missed the target. <laughs> okay, but you're saying it looked like mold yeah, from your yes, point sir. of view. But you moved in anyway. Yeah, I still moved in because I'm. I was told like I should fix the wall before I was able to move in. You know. Okay, so how much later did you move in? Like uh, two weeks later on. When you moved in two weeks later, was the hole fixed? No, sir. There was still the hole in the wall. Okay. Yes, Your Honor. Um. Now let's also be clear about the hole on the wall. It was across the hall from his apartment. Across the hall, so it wasn't his apartment. No, and when he came to see my apartment, I was very clear with him. I said to him, there is an issue with the bathroom next door. The contractor opened a hole on the wall. The entire bathroom by the end of August had been completely redone. And I just also would like to point it out that during this pandemic, getting contractors and materials to work has been very difficult, not just for me, but for the entire country. Totally understand. So he kept saying to me that I wasn't taking care of it. I have all the text messages that I have put it into evidence. I see. I have letters that have been notarized by both contractors saying it, that what he's claiming wasn't true. Now, was there a problem across the hall with the bathroom? Yes, and they were fixing it. It took a while, unfortunately, yes. Okay, and you're suing because the mold did what? So I, when I moved in, I bought everything new. Like I, a new furniture, bed, everything was brand new. Yeah, you had just was, purchased it? Do you have receipts of that? Well, like I wasn't keeping track of receipts, but like uh, the websites I was using, like I still have the order, you know, order number. All right, so you moved it. Now what happened? I, I have evidence of, uh, of the mold doing damage to my clothes. I lost, I lost I, I, items, you know, I had a lot of expensive stuff. I also had um, a pair so of Do we have the pictures of it? Now what's this? Okay, so, this is what I want to see. So this is the cabinet next to my bed. The mold was growing everywhere, you know. Please concentrate on the walls and the floor because there is no mold there. Yeah, and you so know that. Mold was growing out of nowhere. I don't know, you know, no. all my stuff. You know, this under the bed, the mattress, like when I was moving out, when I found this, like this was brand new, you know. Great. And the frame too, you can notice like mold was growing everywhere. Mm -hmm. On the side frame, this, everything was brand new when I, when I came in. Was Please there any mold the on the walls? No. We looked around, like we were trying, because the, mo the mold was coming from the neighbors and she had this problem before I moved in. No, know? the mold and was not coming from the neighbor. And right. I have evidence before you moved in that there was never mold. I took pictures because I posted the pictures on Facebook. That's how the plaintiff found me, found my apartment. Did either of you, because every city does this, you can have someone come over to test for mold. Did either of you do yes, it? Yes, but I, I didn't have that chance because this is what happened. Within a month of uh, the plaintiff moving into my into my property, yeah. and I've put that into evidence for you, yeah. Let's. I would like you to, to take okay, a look. Okay, I'm answer my question. Though. Oh, sure. Did the city come in? Did you ask the city to come in no, and do a test I, for mold? I didn't have that chance because by the time that he started saying all of this, all of these things, my first, my first action was let me get the contractor here to see if there really is a problem. Now, 
There was no mold anywhere else in the house. There was no mold on the walls, no mold on the floors, no mold on the ceiling. So you're saying the, the mold was just on his furniture? Only, only on his furniture. What about that? So if you look at uh, Jay, it shows that uh, she, she said the mold was coming from the other side. The, the, you know? the contractor was trying to work with you and said, listen, if there, if there is a problem, if there is one, then office is not coming from your apartment now there wasn't any mold on the apartment next door either so like uh, throughout the when I was staying there I kept t telling her like come check come because she can come check out the stuff herself like um, of course I did I, I, I was, was there all the time you know those text messages like throughout like come check this out yourself like you know there's mold everywhere you know her solution was like to get the contract and she could come bring of course it is ble bleach and just uh, wipe down the walls that's it you know have you ever owned a house before do you own a property okay you, well that's not okay so your Honor, if I, if I can just uh, finish yeah. the timeline here. So a month later, he comes up to me and tells me that he, I, oh, so here is Exhibit K. It says, I appreciate everything you did. I love having you as a landlord. It's hard to try to leave within a month of being in my property. I totally understand that. Yeah. But this case, the only question I'm interested in now mm -hmm. is there clearly was mold. I want to know what caused the mold. Yeah. Was it your furniture or was it the apartment? That's the only issue I, here. And so I, have, I have just one thing to say, Yorna. Yeah. Mr. Chazanga has moved out of my property on August 5th. My property was sold six weeks later. And I'm sure you are aware when you sell your home, the new owner has an appraisal done. There was an expert that spent almost six hours in that property reviewing every single room. And if found there was a no problem, mold. No, and if there was a problem with mold, do you think the new owner would have bought okay. the property? No. Right. Okay. Even accepting that there clearly was mold, there's no proof before the court right now as to who caused the mold so so the proof was through the text like i was talking to her telling her like yeah, the, the mold was well, the mold was here before i came in you know and it was she, never there and no, no 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 i like i'm sorry but okay hold on yeah. where is the specific text read it to me right now uh so hey, hey t uh, the mold was all, all over the house i found i found more in the kitchen more in the, on my clothes even in the window bleach will only buy you two months it won't get rid of the mold. Okay, now what does she say back? Read it. I've been there, Colin, so, so has my contractor. He has dealt with uh, many times before. Okay, he has also mentioned that she doesn't have a big mold problem no. and that the issue started because of the bathroom next door. Yeah. What? Do you own that bathroom next door? Yes, I own the whole property. Your okay. Honor. So what the contractor said to me, Your Honor, is that yeah. first of all, they came around to his apartment in the apartment next door and said to Lita, I don't see any mold on the walls, on the floor, or on the ceilings. Now, was there mold on his furniture? Yes, you all have seen the video. I've seen the pictures. He's not lying about that. So I've heard from both of you. Here's what I see. Clearly there was mold, but I do not see sufficient evidence to clearly state who's responsible for the mold, whether it was brought in, not on purpose, but was brought in by you, or was in fact something that came from the property that she owned. So I can't decide, I can't make a decision on who's responsible for the mold. The, the other uh, tenant was trying to sue her too. And her, there her. is never another tenant trying to sue me. That is a straight up lie. You both not listen to me. I'm telling you, there is no proof, proof when you come to court, the burden you have for bringing the suit, you got to come with all your material on the day of the trial. And because of that, I dismiss the suit. Thank you, both. Thank you, Anna. I do think that you had a hidden agenda. You're trying to make a quick buck. And honestly, I just wish if you were my child that your mother would have taught you better. That's not the way to get, to get you know, going with life. Like, it's not on someone else's dime. You want something, go work hard for it. That's how I'm here. Oh, she knows what she did, but like, I, I never stayed there. You know, I, I'm, I'm a business owner. I'm, she's saying that I have to work for her. I own a business, you know, I'm 23. Hey, YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.